What's going on guys? My name is Efren Martinez and welcome back to another Efren Nation video. As you see, I'm taking a break of playing God of War and Gotham Knight because I want to play WWE 2K22 because 2K23 is coming out pretty soon. It's coming out next month in March and John Cena, John Cena's on the cover. Of course, the network servers are down. The servers are always down. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's just a habit of me, I guess. My servers are always down. And what I'm going to be doing on 2K22, we are not going to be playing Rey Mysterio Showcase. Not that it's bad or anything, but in my opinion, the the way they did 2K this year with Rey Mysterio was, you know, amazing. But the thing that ruined it was like throughout the match, you have like a cutout when there's like a cinematic cutscene, whatever. Then they show like the real clips. And don't get me wrong, like that's not bad. Like that's pretty cool. But like for recording purposes, that kind of sucks for me and like... I want to see that play out in the cinematic game, not like see it in real life. Or like, sure, there should be an option where you could watch that. But regardless, I just want to play WWE 2K. Let's play my GM. We haven't even played my GM for Afro Nation. So who could we be? We could play Adam Pearce, Sonya Deville, William Regal. He used to be in AEW, but not anymore. Shane McMahon, he's not a, he's not a part of the company anymore. The dad fired him. Stephanie McMahon... She stepped down. She's not a part of WWE anymore, but the husband is. Good thing. Custom superstar. Who could that be? Wait, wait, custom. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Who are we going to pick? We're going to pick Derek Destroyer. If you don't watch ACW, that's me. He's literally me. So let's go pick him. Wait, hang on, hang on. Yeah, let's pick him. Beginner's luck. Okay, so raise the popularity of the superstar with the lowest popularity on your roster by 20%. Nice. I dig that. We're going to go with Raw because Raw is the best show. It's the A show. It's the show. But that's my opinion. Sonya Deville? Ah, uh, of course we're going to do an A. Who should my opponent be? You know, sh let's give Shane McMahon a chance because, come on, he needs a chance. And since we all know he loves SmackDown because SmackDown Live, we're going to pick the hardest difficulty. Now, I would say... Yeah, we could do hard. Let's see how it goes. Uh, let's do about a year worth. Def uh, default. Let's do manual. And I can't believe it took a long time for GM to, to be in a WWE game. Last time it was, what, like SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 or 8? Okay, the draft rules. Each general manager will start with a budget of $2,750,000. I think that said the, I said the number right. General managers... We'll take turns drafting one after the other, starting with player one, which is me. There will be eight rounds of drafting. After the eighth round, the drafting will become optional. And it depends if they could do it. They could go out or they run out with money. Tip. General managers, blah, blah, blah. Press this button for recommendation. Recommendation? No. I'm recommending. I don't need you for telling me what to do. So who should be my first pick? Uh, let's go with the big dog. Roman Reigns. Oh, you choose Drew McIntyre. Okay. Okay. You choose Drew McIntyre. I'm going to go with the architect, Seth freaking Rollins. Okay, you pick Roderick Strong. Okay, I'll give you that. You can't forget about my boy, Ginger Mahal. The former WWE champion. Oh, you pick Lex. Alexa Flynn. Five feet, five feet of Furious. I think that's what her thing was. Sasha Banks. She's not a fighter of WWE anymore, unfortunately. She's not. We got to pick her. The, two, the, the 2023 Royal Rumble winner. She returned. She was number 33. I mean, number 30 at the Royal Rumble. But they botched her entrance at the Royal Rumble. Wait. Keith Lee is in AEW now. John Morrison. You can't count out John Morrison. Come on. Oh, he picked the Celtic Warrior. He picked the Celtic Warrior. Okay. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. Too bad they're not a part of WWE anymore. You can't forget about the who, 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 Titus O'Neil. Okay, I still have a million dollars. I just wanted to know how much I drafted. But we need... 
Liv Morgan. We need Liv Morgan. We need women in a roster. We need some good, the good ones. You can't forget about Finn Balor. Wait. Oh, hang on, hang on. My recording software was about to go down. Okay, now where the hell were we? Randy Orton! We can't forget about Randy Orton. Come on, we need the legend killer. Because who knows, we might get some legends. Part of Team Raw. <laughs> Could you believe she has an OnlyFans now? Sad. She chose OnlyFans over wrestling, which is sad. And people actually pay for that. People do. People do. I would say we're done. We're done. I think that's pretty good. So we're going to end the draft. That should be good because we reached 12. Round 12. So that's good. Look at Derek Destroyer, the general manager of Team Raw. Look at our roster. Hell yeah. Oh, are they still going? Oh, I forgot. They have more budget money than us. Of course, he's, he's Shane McMahon, the son of Vince McMahon. They're rich. Look at SmackDown. Okay, I see you. But we have the big dog, a part of Team Raw. And you got Drew McIntyre. So is that the face of SmackDown? Oklahoma City. Four weeks. Tonight is the night. The debut show. Wait, we got to talk like Triple H. Tonight is the night. Oh, the debut show. <laughs> My voice just whistled. We have high hopes for you. Okay. You know, I was born for this. I guess I was born for this. Huh. Derek Destroyer. Hell yeah. Good. I'm expecting big things of Raw this season. Make it an amazing show. I will not let you down. Choose our champion. Damn, most of our Raw star heels. We got to do a lot of changes. You know, who could we make our champion? What about... Renny Orton. I could see him as their champion. Ooh, who could be? Hell yeah. Rhea Ripley as the Raw Women's Champion? Hell yeah, I could see that legit happening pretty soon, hopefully. Okay, so what should be our main event? I feel like we should have a championship match. It's got to be Rhea Ripley taking on. Oh, come on, they're all faces. Shit. Well, that sucks. I wasn't paying attention that much. Okay, who should turn heel? Wait, hang on, hang on. Let me fuck late. Rhea Ripley? Why can't, cuz? You know what? Who's Who should we turn heel? Tony Storm. Let's turn her heel. Cost $10,000 10, $10, to turn heel. Okay. We're gonna have Renny Orton taking on. Titus O'Neil for the WWE Championship. And there will be an interference. By who? I guess it should be Seth freaking Rollins. No, 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 no. It should be Jinder Mahal interfering with Randy Orton. It should be... No, no, it should be a normal match. No, no. Let's make it... And Extreme Rules, we got to start Monday Night Raw with a banger. So, did I do it? Okay, I did. We're going to have... Mm, we're going to have Finn Balor turn heel. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of people turning heel in this episode of Monday Night Raw. Well, uh, role change. Yeah, I do have enough money. We should have Roman Reigns going on John Morrison. That should be a good match. I could see that happening. I mean, John Morrison ain't part of WWE anymore, but that will be pretty good to see. And for the minimum, it's going to be Rhea Ripley versus Alexa Bliss. Oh, shit. It's going to be a fair match. It's going to be a fair match. But wait, there's going to be interference. There's going to be interference by who? By who? Oh, my God. Sasha Banks running in. Rhea Ripley. She's going to cost the match. She's going to damn. Oh, we don't have anybody. Ah, oh, we can't even have another match. Shit. Well, let's have a promo with Seth freaking Rollins. Advertisement. No, no, no. Charity work. Come on, because charity work says generate a small bonus of fans for the week with a, with a chance of small popularity boost of the superstar. I dig that. Oh, because look, we could hire free agents. We got a lot of like who, like, who are these people at the bottom? I mean, I guess he's like permanent. Sure, he's cheap. 
We gotta do it. <laughs> I mean, if they're cheap and if they're willing to work, we'll put them on the show. Why not? Wait, what about legends? What if we decide to get a legend for our Raw? Look, we couldn't even get Mr. McMahon. But damn. But my money, though. I gotta watch with my money. Who could I hire? The Rock. We're gonna bring The Rock into Team Raw. No. This is gonna be a banger. We're gonna have The Rock. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, wait. Instead of Seth Rollins, what about The Rock versus Seth freaking Rollins in a tables match? No way. We're gonna have a tables match. Now let's gonna have her do some charity work. So I think everything's all set. Oh look, we could we have some perks where like contract negotiation. Add two weeks to the free agent or legend contract. Okay. We have I think this is way if they get hurt, you know, they could make it not hurt anymore, if that makes sense. Vito start block. The other brand from booking their most popular show for next week. Wow, what a dick move. You know what? Wait, book your least favorite superstar this match. Come on. I'm sorry, Triple H, but come on. This, we can't do it. We got to have these matches. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we're going to have these matches. So, hey, let's get this Monday Night Raw underway. I'm ready. I can't wait to see how our first episode of Monday Night Raw goes. So, we're going to have Randy Orton versus Titus O'Neil for the opening match for the WWE Champion. And here we go. Two. Three. Titus O'Neil the new WWE Champion. And that was a great match. What a great match. But let's not forget. Let's not forget. Jinder Mahal cost Randy Orton the championship. Now let's say what. Oh. Finn Balor just turned face. I like that. We're going to have Roman Reigns versus John Morrison. In a one-on-one -on -one match. One, two, three. And John Morrison wins. John Morrison wins. And that match was disappointing. I wish, I'm pretty sure that match would have been a three-star if that legit happened in WWE. But at least that, that started a rivalry between them. Charity work by Lee Morgan. That was a weak performance, but it draw in 5,000 people, though. The Rock versus Seth Rollins in a table smash. In a table smash. Two, three. Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins defeated The Rock for a two-star. A two-star. At least we get to see Rock versus Rollins. That rivalry has started. Tony Storm turning heel? No way. We Ripley versus Alexa Bliss for the WWE Women's Champion. One, two, three. Alexa Bliss has done it. Alexa Bliss has done it. We have a new WWE Women's Champion. And it started a rivalry between Banks and Ripley. Not bad, not a bad show, not a bad first episode. Let's see how these people do it. Two, three. They had some tag team action going on. Well, it's because they had more people than us, but. Okay, I see you. Not bad. She did some charity work. Okay, I see. They had a regular one on one match. Sheamus won. Okay, I could see. Sheamus deserved the W right there. Self promo by Bailey. A mid card match between. Mia and Dina. Mia win. That was an okay match. A call out. Ooh. Becky Lynch calls out Bailey. And that started a rivalry. Now for the main event, Wal <laughs> Walter and Brian Kendrick versus Drew McIntyre and Ivan. For the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Oh, Ivan and Drew McIntyre are the new SmackDown Champion. Oh my God. What an opening. Well, we had a better opening. But they had a better finish. Not bad, not bad though. Okay, so total the money we made that night was two hundred forty-three thousand dollars. Show notes. So if you see a ring with the star, that means the fans love it, and that's recommended for the wrestler. Randy Orton has a really good feeling for extreme role matches. Ross are taking advantage. Hell yes. Holy crap! Jinder Mahal just blindsided Randy Orton. The Rock back in the ring after long and on Raw, he still got it. Bullshit. The Rock should have came back for the Royal Rumble. The Rock was nowhere near the Royal Rumble. He just wasn't ready in shape. He wasn't shaped to enter the ring even though he was in shape physically. If that makes sense. 
I hate to see Ripley lose, but props to Alexa Bliss for a good win. Never would have expected Tony Storm to be a bad guy. You mean a bad girl? I don't know how to feel about Rhea Ripley and Alexa Bliss. So I guess both of them were heels, if I'm correct. Sasha Banks enjoyed seeing Rhea Ripley lose against Alexa Bliss, who is a far more talented fighter. Damn! On Twitter, probably, they're roasting her. Alexa wins the championship tonight off Rhea Ripley. Alexa has really earned that strap. Definitely. Titus O'Neil versus Randy Orton was awesome. Their wrestling classes fit each other so well. For real. That Leave Morgan promo was good cause, but although it was a bit boring. Come on, it wasn't that boring. I'm not going to read SmackDown because we don't need SmackDown. We got to focus on Raw. Okay, we have a bit more money, but they draw more fans, so... Okay, so we lost the first week, but it's not bad. It's not bad. We still got like what 49 weeks left Triple H Make sure you're making match goes well with each other like for example Alexa and Rhea Ripley was a bit of a mismatch. Okay So Chris awaits blah 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 Chris awaits blah, blah blah. Okay, I get you Triple H Listen, I need to what that's that smug smile off Morrison's face after that loss I want to fight him again within the two weeks. You want to fight him with two weeks? Sure thing, Roman. We'll make that happen. Ray Ripley, I am not happy losing my championship last week. As a former champion, I acted causing a rematch. You want a rematch? Nobody gets a title shot before me. You want a title shot? I don't know. Fine, we'll give you a title match. We'll give you a title match. Now we're going to have Alexa Bliss. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. I want to check something. So Alexa, no, no, no. Sasha Banks turns heel. I could see that happening. We're going to have some tag team action going on here tonight. We're going to have Finn Balor. And who? <laughs> this guy. I don't know why this guy's a part of fucking Team Raw. Who the hell is even that guy? We're going to have Jinder Mahal. And who else are we going to have? Who should be on Jinder Mahal's team? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Two of these people don't even exist in WWE. But you know what? Just for fun, let's put them in a title match. Come on, who wouldn't like a title match? And a tables match. Come on, that, that would be a banger right there. The Rock should call out Seth Rollins. They're going to talk about what went wrong last week. Ray Ripley. Where's Ray Ripley? She's going to call out Sasha Banks because she calls her the title match. And this is going to build up their match pretty soon. Wait, wait, what does Triple H want? Have at least one TLC match this week. God damn. You want to have a TLC match? Damn. Okay. I guess we're going to have a TLC match. Titus O'Neil is going to be in a fucking TLC match. At the main event. And it's going to be for the championship. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know how I feel about that, sir. Leave Morgan. Versus Tony Storm. In a tables match. You get a tables match. And you get a tables match. And everybody's get a tables match. Who could I book? Plus, that's a rivalry going on. So, let's see how that one goes. Okay, we get a bigger venue. Uh, oh, I could purchase this. Yes. I mean, we do have the budget for it. Come on. Let's see what else we could pr pr purchase. More, more, more media. More, more, more money. Okay, that's almost half of a profit right there. Could we hire any legends? Yes, we can, but I don't think we need legends right now. Plus, we're kind of stacked at the moment. So, a ratings, the fans, SmackDown won, but the budget, damn. What happened there? Are we, we kind of spend it a lot, that's why. But I think we're pretty good. We Ripley wants a title match. Okay, good, we're not having a title match. Okay, we're going to have a title match for Re Ripley because she wants a title match. Roman Reigns versus John Morrison in a grudge match. You want a grudge match? Tables match. Okay, okay, so what's this is for a championship match? Tables, tables, TLC. Okay, we're all set. I think we're ready for the second episode of Raw. So the opening is a, is a tag team match. And one, two, three. And oh my god, we have a, we <laughs> new champions. And that match was good. It spawned a rivalry, a tag team rivalry. That's good. Sasha Banks, she turns heel. Okay, <laughs> at least she ain't a big show where she turns face and heel every single week. Okay, one, two, three. And the big dog wins. The big dog wins the table smash. 
That was disappointing? How was that disappointing? Who who gets disappointed? Maybe they botched the finish, probably. We Ripley. Ooh, she calls out Sasha Banks, and that promo was excellent. Spawned level two of rivalry. Mid-card match, a table smash. One, two, three. Liv Morgan? Liv Morgan wins. She wins. She defeated Tony Storm. And it's funny the rivalry between those two women. Nice. The Rock calls out Seth Rollins. And that was an excellent promo. They're level two rivalry. Hell yeah. Titles for Neil versus Randy Orton in a TLC match for the WWE Champion. One, two, three. And Randy Orton wins. He does an RKO off the ladder to Titus O'Neil. And he climbs up the ladder and wins the belt. And wins the match. An amazing four-star match. Nice. And it spotted a rivalry. Wow. That was a good episode. I got to admit, that was a good episode. Sure, there was one match that had two stars. Or, no, it had like one star, I think. So we're going to skip this. I don't care about SmackDown. We had a good booking. Look at that. Oh. SmackDown did beat us at one match. But still. We pretty much dominated that week. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I dig that. Raw bringing the big guns. I dig that. Good show tonight. Finn Balor's perfect for tables. Bet. That was a good episode. Oh no. We, we lost $9,000. How? How? I thought that was a good episode. I mean to me I would say that was a good episode. What the hell? They're still beating us. By like 10,000 people. By fans. Well, at St. Louis, Randy Orton's stamina is low, so we gotta watch out because we don't want to hurt him. That's what he's saying. Make sure he gets a break. Randy Orton, I thought I left St. Louis for good. Well, I think I better go out there and put on a show. Thanks for the rematch against John Morrison. You're welcome, Randy Orton. What can I say? I'm a good general manager. We're gonna have Randy Orton, the WWE Champion, do some charity work to boost the ratings. Alexa Bliss, she's gonna turn heel. The champion, the women's champion is going to turn heel. So it's going to be rivalry versus rivalry. So that should be pretty good. Let's make it a fucking tables match. Fuck it. Let's just keep repeating the fucking stuff. No, let's make the Rock advertise band. Let's see what that does. We should have Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns. And the rivalry ain't done. The rivalry ain't done. John Morrison is going to run in and attack Roman Reigns. Because their feud is far from being over. Wait, can we hire a legend? What a legend could we hire? I'm thinking of a legend. What legend could we hire? The big boss man. I want to see the big boss man debut in our Raw. So we should have the big boss man in Raw. What about free agents? What free agents could we have? Oh, look, you could also have them permit. Nice. But now nah, let's have Johnny Gargano part of my Raw. Let's have, let's have some tag team matches going on. Let's have some tag team matches going on here. I mean, who doesn't want to see a tag team match? And the big boss man. Here we go. This is going to be a tag team match. This is going to be our opening. The tag team match is going to be the opening. Damn. You know what? What if we have a women's championship match? Hell yeah. Even though they're rivalries on each part. Like, you know, one team is rivalries with the other team. It would work perfectly. But who knows? Who knows? Who's going to get the W? So there's going to be a bunch of stuff going on here. So we're going to have Titus O'Neil versus match. There's going to be a regular match. Oh, no, but damn, look at this. No, 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 we can't have a match. I don't have the optional goal, but fuck it. Fuck it, let's hire this dude. Who the hell is Jive Owens? I mean, he's pretty cheap, so let's put him on the table. Nah, it wouldn't work. Never mind. Oh, I could also interfere. Damn, what an asshole. Now, let's just have a regular match, but I feel like that should be pretty good. We're here at St. Louis, so let's see how things go. The third episode of Monday Night Raw. Let's simulate the tag team match. One, two, three. Johnny Gargano and the Big Boss Man defeat Ginger Mahal and the Lumberjack guy. A two star? I thought that match would have been good. Randy Orton into some charity work. Good. That was a good promo. 5,000 people showed up. Not 5,000 people, but like, you know, we gained 5,000 people. I think that's what it says. Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns in a one-on-one -on -one match. One, two, three. Finn Balor wins, but John Morrison calls Randy Orton the match. Alexa Bliss. She turns heel. Alexa Bliss turns heel. Seth Rollins versus Jeeve Owens. Oh, my God. Let's see how this match ends. Seth, this is going to be a squash match. It was a squash match. Fuck. The Rock advertised me. Damn, look how much money The Rock made us. Hell yeah, we needed money. 
This is the, this is worth it. Two, three. Oh, Ray Ripley, Elite Morgan, our champion. Hell, I think this happened one time in WWE. I think they teamed up. I'm not sure if they won the WWE Tag Team Champions, but I'm pretty sure that happened. To be honest, our booking could have been better that week. Not a not a big fan. But the big boss man is a big fan of Extreme Rules. We gained some money, so that's good. I don't know. I felt like that wasn't a good week. Damn, they're still beating us. What can we do? What can we do? One week until Backlash. Hey, Destroyer. <laughs> yes, Randy Orton. You've seen the work I've been putting. I was wondering I could do more for the brand. What do you want, Roman Reigns? I'm ready for a main event match. Damn, Roman. <laughs> sure, we'll put you in the main event. Because he's the big dog. Hey, boss, I've been talking to Randy Orton. And you want to have a tag team match? You know? I could see that happening. Let's see how that works. In a table match. Interference. John Morrison takes on Randy Orton. That will be a good main event match. Seth Rollins calls out The Rock. No, no, no. It should be the other way. Because the promo skills. Hell yeah. That should spice things up. Alexa Bliss, self promo, hell yeah! Let's see how that goes. She wants an exclusive match, so we'll give her, we'll give, we'll give her the championship match. Okay, yeah, we'll give her that. But she attacks Rhea Ripley. Their health is, I mean, their stamina is pretty good, so we'll give them an extreme rule match. Now we can't, we gotta save their stamina for the pay per view coming up later on. So we're gonna have Morgan. Hell yeah. Can we run in? No, we don't have any women. What if general manager interferes? Oh, fuck. I mean, they're pretty, both pretty hot, if you ask me. Tony Storm. Fuck, I'm... No, but I'm being an asshole. Fuck it, what's the worst thing that could happen to me? Am I gonna get fired? I doubt that. Using GM interference will update the match to a new DQ and limit the match to a single player with options to... Either play as GM or some like the match. Yes. Calls out Renny Orton. Because their match is about to happen next week. Can we hire anyone? Nah, but we got to watch it with the money. Because look, our fourth episode of Monday Raw. Because this is our fourth episode right now. SmackDown is beating us with fans. And they're beating us with our budget. But not bad, not bad. So, I think we're all set. We're all set. Let's see how it goes. Our fourth episode of Monday Night Raw. And it starts with the WWE Women's Championship for an Extreme Rules match. Here we go. One, two, three. Rhea Ripley, is... Rhea Ripley has done it. And it has fueled up the rivalry. Banks. Oh no, Alexa Bliss lost the champion though. But that's okay. We're going to have Banks and Ripley pretty soon. Pretty soon. But the match was good. And the rivalry leveled up to three. Titus O'Neil calls out Randy Orton. Not bad. The rivalry got to level two. Tony Storm versus Lee Morgan. The general manager interferes. And who's going to win? Lee Morgan has done it. Lee Morgan wins the match. And it started a rivalry. Nice. Level two. Okay, that was a two star. The Rock calls out Seth freaking Rollins. And the, lever the rivalry got to level three. Hell yeah. Simulate. Two. Three. Johnny Gogano and the big boss man won the tag team match. And that match was disappointing. What? How was that disappointing? It was a tag team match. Please don't tell me they botched the finish. Randy Warden advertising. He made it some money. I dig that. Now here comes the main event. Roman Reigns versus Finn Balor in a table match. Two, three. Finn Balor has done it. Finn Balor has defeated Roman Reigns because John Morrison has interfered the match. And that, that was a good match. Three, three and a half stars. Good booking, good booking. SmackDown beat us in the ratings right there, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we will recover. L look at look at this tweet. Well, did you see Derek Destroyer stepping in to help leave Morgan? Tony Storm looks furious. Damn. We were really getting pushed a lot lately on Raw. <laughs> what an asshole. We made some money, though. We almost made $200,000. And they're still beating us with the fans. Damn, we almost have the same amount of money. But we're winning with the money. But it doesn't matter about the money. It's about sending the message. Now it's... Hey, Des Moines, Iowa. Hey, that's where I was this summer. And last summer. Okay. We Ripley's... Wait, something came up. And I can't have We Ripley part of your show this week. 
fuck you, Triple H. Why not? She she has to defend her title. Hey, Destroyer, I just wanted to let you know that I'm planning on taking SmackDown to the top ranking and saying there, fuck you, Shane McMahon. Bring it on. I have the roster and running capabilities to do it. I don't think Raw has a chance. You really think you can't contain with us? Because we have superstars like Drew McIntyre? Get real. Hey, my contract at Raw is up at the end of the week. But I'm interested in staying. Oh. What about 32K? You want to stay? I think we both know I'm more worth than that. Come on, Rock. Why do you have to be such an asshole? I know you have to film movies, but come on. Thank you for your work, but I won't re renew your contract. He understands that, though. Hey, what was that? I didn't realize you were picking sides within your own team. I guess now I know. Come on. Thanks for the title match. Come on. I thought, it was, I thought that was a good part of me. Okay. So we're going to max out their feud. Tables match. Nah, 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 nah. We're going to have an extreme rules. Because this is the last time we're going to see The Rock for a while on part of Raw. The Rock versus Title Sonil. And a hail. No, no, no. Because look. We can have extreme rules. But I could also get a pay-per-view bonus. Pay-per-view bonus. Fuck it. For the title match. Hell yes. The tables match. The championship. That could be a good main event. Because Morgan could do the feud. Now let's do it with Storm. So it's gonna be table smash, table smash, table smash. Extreme rules, table smash. Jarna Gargano. She's gonna feud with Rhea Ripley because their feud is far from being over. I think we're all set. This is gonna be a banger. A good ass pay per view representing Team Raw. Here we go. The opening match Randy Orton versus Title Swanil. Table smash for the WWE Champion. One, two, three. Title Swanil wins. Hooah, hooah, hooah. Four star match. Hell yes. That match was good. Charity work by Jarna Gargano. 5,000 fans. A tables match between Leave Morgan and Tony Storm. One, two, three. Tony Storm has defeated Leave Morgan in a tables match. The review was good. Three and a half stars. That was a great view. Review. That was good. The boss man generated 5,000 fans. Five, five, wait. 5,000 fans. Yes, I was right. We're going to have a table match. John Morrison versus Roman Reigns. One, two, three. John Morrison defeats the big dog. That match was disappointing, but it still grew the rivalry. So I'll take that. Come on. You got to have some downs before you go up. It's like a mountain. You call out that person. Okay, good. That guy was like, why the fuck did you call me out? The Rock versus Seth Rollins in the Hell in the Cell match. One, two. Three. Seth Rollins has defeated The Rock. The rivalry is complete. The Rock's contract has expired. The Rock is out of Team Raw for now. We Ripley calls out, gets, gets called out by Sasha Banks. The rivalry goes to level four. Oh shit. A tag team championship match. A tables match. One, two, three. We have a new champion. We have new champions. We have a new champion. Oh, good God almighty. Wow, we have new Raw Tag Team Champions. Poor finale. I should have put the Hell in a Cell match. The finale. That would have been better. But in reality, that wasn't that bad, though. That wasn't that bad. Man, what an end of a rivalry between Rollins and The Rock. Rollins proving he is the boss. Good show tonight. Roman Reigns is the reason why I watch Raw. Why doesn't he get a title shot match? Why doesn't he get a title match already? But we made some money though. We made some money. And the fan base, damn, they're still beating us. But not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. Four weeks until payback, Triple H. Hey, that recently guy is doing better than expected. You wanna make him bona fide? Boner fide. <laughs> not, not that joke again, because I said that joke in the quarry for Raw. Here's the to the man power card. Hey Derek, listen, I'm I'm tired for working McMahon for, for McMahon at SmackDown. I'm happy to work for, for Raw. Here's my contract? I don't think so, man. Fine, you're lost or you're an asshole. You're tribal chief here. Hey, it's Roman Reigns. I've been putting a lot of work and I think I deserve a title shot. You want a title shot, Roman? I'll give you a title shot within three weeks. Now let's check the ratings. Look, we're slowly, we're about to, we're about to reach up there. We're about to reach up there. And we're winning with the budget, so that's good. 
This is where I'm going to end this episode. So we're in episode four. I don't know. We're in week six. Week six, I mean, of GML. So thank you guys for watching me playing WWE 2K22 GM mode. And I know it's been a while since I played a WWE game for FN Nation, but hopefully everybody's enjoyed. I don't know if my booking is good or, or bad. Maybe it's just the game. Maybe like the game doesn't give you like more options. Probably the GM mode was better on SmackDown versus Raw compared to 2K22. But who knows what's gonna happen on 2K23. So thank you guys. Stay safe, stay badass, and I will see you in the next video. And we will pick this up pretty soon. So this is gonna be a video that I would like to keep doing. So stay safe, stay badass, and stay too sweet. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a rumble. We're gonna have a rumble. A la verga. No mames. No fucking mames. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it. Ah, fuck. Stop. No mames. <laughs>